Oh my god! Oh my god! Welcome back. We're back again for another episode of Game of Thrones. Tonight we're going to watch episode 9. The last episode, Ned was in the dungeon. Sansa was asking Joffrey for mercy for her father. Tyrion made it back to his dad's camp. And they were about to go fight the Starks, I guess. Starks are in their camp. Getting ready to go fight the Lannisters. And Daenerys is... She took them women. She, she freed a bunch of slave women. And the dude got mad and fought Khal Drago. He got his tongue ripped out of his throat. He got got a cut on his chest. The so witch lady. You say you didn't trust the witch lady. Mm -hmm. Just look untrustworthy. Plus she a witch, so. Well, you pretty much can't trust anybody in this whole series. Show <laughs> kind. It's from what, from what season one teaches you. Don't trust nobody. Everybody's back tops. Let's start. All right. Seen better days, my lord. Another visit. Seems you're my last friend. No, no. <laughs> Many still love you. Can you free me from this bed? I could. But will I? No. <laughs> he tells you the truth. No riddles, no stories. Tell me, what do you want? Peace. Did you know that your son is marching south with an army of Northmen? Loyal lad. Fighting for his father's freedom. Rob, just a boy. Boys have been conquerors before. Sansa pleaded so sweetly for your life, it would be a shame to throw it away. Cersei is no fool. She knows a tame wolf is more used to her than a dead one. You want me to serve the woman who murdered my king, who butchered my men, who crippled my son? I want you to serve the realm. <laughs> Tell the Queen you will confess your vile treason. Tell your son to lay down his sword and proclaim Joffrey as the true heir. Cersei knows you as a man of honor. If you give her the peace she needs and promise to carry her secret to your grave, I believe she will allow you to take the black and live out your days on the wall with your brother and your bastard son. You think my life is some precious thing to me? We have that opportunity. Would you take it? What of your daughter's life, my lord? Is that a precious thing to you? You gotta think of your girls. Yeah. That's that honor will probably fall way back. With <laughs> girls in mind, I don't know. Thank you. It's a birthday message to his grandniece, Walder. Keep shooting them down. We can't risk Lord Walder sending word of your movements to the Lannisters. His father rots in the dungeon. How long before they take his head? We need to cross the Trident, and we need to do it now. Just march up to his gates and tell him you're crossing. We've got five times his numbers. Is he supposed to be part of the council? No. The one that's running his mouth all the time. Theon. He's just a ward. Okay, so that means he's just a server. Right? His dad tried to rebel against Robert and got beat, so Ned took him as punishment to his father, basically. Oh. It's his father don't mind. <laughs> huh? What do you want? Your boy's too proud to come before me himself. What am I supposed to do with you? Uh, father, you forget yourself. Lady Stark is... Who asked you? <laughs> she look, she look like <laughs> super boss. Father, please. I need lessons in courtesy from you, bastard. Your mother will still be a milkmaid if I hadn't squirted you into her belly. <laughs> no, this old man. He's his children. He's supposed to be like 80, 89, 90 years old. So. Is there somewhere we can talk? We're talking right now. Fine. Out. All of you. That's a lot of kids to be hanging around. Really? You too. Oh, thank goodness. 
Your family's always pissed on me. My lord, I... Don't deny it. You know it's true. The fine Lord Tully would never marry any of his children to mine. I'm sure there were reasons for... I didn't need reasons. I needed to get rid of sons and daughters. You see how they pile up? <laughs> Why are you here? To ask you to open your gates, my lord. You swore an oath to my father. <laughs> and I swore oaths to the crown too, if I remember right. When does Eamon think you'll be able to use that hand? Soon, he says. Good. We'll be ready for this then. It's called Long Claw. He can make his weapon back. He's giving him his sword, his family's sword, Tom. Huh? This is Valyrian steel. It's my father's sword. His father before him it was meant for my son Jorah. He brought dishonor to our house, but he had the grace to leave the sword before he fled from Westeros. My lord, you honor me, but I can't. Oh, you can. And you will. I wouldn't be standing here if it wasn't for you and your beast. So you'll take it. You know more about it. Not understood? Yes, my lord. That's a man's sword. Take a man to wield it. Oh, so he's his here. Yeah. Go and listen, Luke. At what? The sword. Show us the sword. What's wrong with Sam? Mm -hmm. What is it? I can't. <laughs> you can't what? I'm really not supposed to say. <sighs> and yet, you really want to say. You want to say that... It was a raven. It's your brother, Rob. What about him? He's heading south. To war. I should be there. I should be with him. Well, what did he say? Lord Walder has granted your crossing. His men are yours as well. And what does he want in return? You will be taking on his son, Oliver, as your personal squire. Our soul. What? <laughs> and Arya will marry his son, Waldron. Oh my god. She won't be happy about that. Is something there? And you will marry one of his daughters. He has a number he thinks will be suitable. <laughs> did you get a look at his daughters? I did. <laughs> one was. <laughs> one was. Okay. Can I refuse? Not if you want to cross. Then I consent. Okay, I gotta marry somebody? Okay. <laughs> See, I'm trying to get rid of these kids. They just keep piling up up in here. I know the feeling. <laughs> Sam said you wanted to see me. I did indeed. Sam told you. We're all human. Oh, we all do our duty when there's no cost. Honor comes easy then. Sooner or later, there comes a day when it is not easy. A day when he must choose. And this is my day. Oh, it hurts, boy. I know. You do not know. No one knows. The gods were cruel when they saw fit to test my vows. They waited till I was old. The ruin of my house, the death of my family. I was helpless, blind, frail. When I heard they had killed my brother's son. And his poor son. And the children. Even the little children. Who are you? My father was Micah, the first of his name. My brother, Egan, reigned after him. Oh, Eamon Targaryen. I am a master of the Citadel, bound in service to Castle Black and the Night's Watch. That's the Mad King's brother? No, it's the Mad King's uncle. Oh. Oh, Lord. He don't look too good. Drogo. Oh, oh. Yeah, that's right for my Halfing us was to throw. He ain't off his or So where he gonna take it? Try to take it? Take it while he's sick? Dads tell us the Stark host has moved south from the twins with Lord Frey's levies in tow. The boy may lack experience and sense, but he does have a certain mindless provincial courage. But do continue. Didn't mean to interrupt. <laughs> I do hope your savages are going to be of some use, otherwise we've wasted good steel on them. When the battle commences, you and your wildlings will be in the vanguard. The vanguard? Mm -hmm. Me and the tribesmen, on the front line. Surely there are ways to have me killed that would be less detrimental to the war effort. 
Piers, I'm not hungry after all. Excuse me, my lords. So he want to put him out on the front line? Yeah. Who are you? She. What sort of accent is that? Foreign. <laughs> what do you want from me? What do I want from you? I want you to share my tent. I want you to pour my wine, laugh at my jokes, rub my legs when they are sore after a day's ride. I want you to take no other man to bed for as long as we're together. And I want you to fuck me like it's my last night in this world. And what do I get? One, safety. Two, the pleasure of my company. And three, more gold than you can spend if you lived a thousand years. Do you accept my proposal? Yes, yes, yes. Looks like it. <laughs> Let's start with your last night in this world. You are me. You got a fever. <laughs> Galisi. Come. He's very strong. No one understands how strong he is. You're that weak to me. <laughs> he will die tonight, Khaleesi. He can't. He can't. I won't let him. That is not looking good. We must go quickly. I've heard there's a good port in Ashai. I won't leave him. He's already gone, Khaleesi. Even if he dies, why would I run? I am Khaleesi and my, my son will be Karl after Drogo. This isn't Westeros, where men honor blood. Here, they only honor strength. They'll be fighting after Drogo dies. Whoever wins that fight will be the new Carl. You won't want any rivals. Your boy will be plucked from your breast and given to the dogs. The wound has festered. Better boy. They will see. Oh, should I tell you? <laughs> no, wow. I think you should wear your armor tonight, sir. I think you're right. I think I used to work. Wear your armor tonight. <laughs> He's beyond the healer's skills. You must know a way. There is a spell. Yeah, no. Do it. There is a price. Do you have gold? Whatever you want. It's not a matter of gold. This is blood magic. Only death pays for life. My death? No, not your death, Khaleesi. Bring me his horse. <laughs> Horse is like, fuck this. This is blood magic. It is forbidden. Girl. Go. Now. Mm -hmm. Bring him back to me. <laughs> he wouldn't have his armor on. I have to save him. Il voseo. Yerevi. Il vosiana. Il kaiso. Oh. oh my god. Do you that's why they don't wear no armor. They can flip around and Oh, it's a good thing he had his armor on though. Are you hurt? The baby hmm? is coming. Fetch the midwives. They will not come. This is she is cursed. Uh, what did he say? They will not come. They say she's cursed. She can bring baby. I hear her say so. He gonna go into that thing? So nobody must enter. Let's play a new game. Let's do something I'm good at. I make a statement about your past. If I'm right, you drink. If I'm wrong, I drink. And no lying. I'll know if you're lying. Your father beat you. <laughs> but my mother hit harder. You once loved a woman many years ago, but it turned out badly, so you've never let yourself love again. Oh, wait, that's me. <laughs> Your mother was a whore. Drink. <laughs> Your father left the family when you were very young, never to return. Drink. And we've established the rules about lying. Drink. <laughs> My turn. Fine. Ask away. Who were you in love with? I was 16. My brother Jamie and I were riding when we heard a scream. 
she ran out onto the road, clothes half torn off with two men on her heels. Jamie scared away the men easily enough while I wrapped her in my cloak. She was too scared to send off on her own, so while Jamie hunted down the rapers, I took her to the nearest inn and fed her. Together we finished off three chickens and a flagon of wine. And somehow I found myself in her bed. For three chickens? I should hope so. <laughs> it didn't last long. I didn't know what the hell I was doing. And by morning I was deep enough in love to ask for her hand. A few lies, a few gold coins, one drunken septon, and there you have it, man and wife. For a fortnight anyway, until the septon sobered up and told my father. First my father had Jamie tell me the truth. The girl was a whore, you see. Jamie had arranged the whole thing. He thought it was time I had a woman. But after my brother confessed, my father brought in my wife and gave her to his guards. Mm. He paid her well. Silver for each man. He brought me into the barracks and made me watch. By the end, she had so much silver that the coins were slipping through her fingers and rolling onto the floor. Mm. Wow. You should have known she was a whore. I was 16, drunk and in love. A girl who's almost raped doesn't invite another man into her bed two hours later. As I said, I was young and stupid. You are still young and stupid. <laughs> like, oh, okay, it's time for me to go. I'll be seeing my way up. Like, oh, okay, it's time for me to go. <laughs> What is it? What do you want? You're sleeping through the war. What? They stole the Knights March on us. They're a mile north. Get my squire! You don't have a squire! <laughs> if I die, weep for me. He said weep for me. Yeah. <laughs> If I die, weep for me. You be dead. How would you know? Yeah. He's so cute. <laughs> Stay low. Stay low. <laughs> if you're lucky, no one will notice you. I was mm -hmm. born lucky. Tribesmen of the Vale! Gather round! No. Your dominion over the veil begins now! Onward to claim what is yours! Did they say half, half pint? Half man. Oh. To battle! One minute I'm saying he's so cute. <laughs> he's saying knock that the whole war. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's too funny. <laughs> you said you're a shit warrior. How did our tribesmen do? Oh my god. Are these men starts men? Yeah. I hear we won. Huh. The scouts were wrong. There were 2,000 Stark bannermen, not 20. Did we get the Stark boy at least? He wasn't here. Where was he? With his other 18,000 men. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> and where are they? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm mad, crying. <laughs> <laughs> that, was, that was a good, good part. You get knocked the heck out. My lady. Oh, so he was with the, with them. He. He split his forces in two and tricked 
Go. Summon the Lannisters. <sighs> By the time they knew what was happening, it had already happened. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Could end this war right now, boy. You fight for the Starks, I fight for the Lannisters. Swords, lances, teeth, nails, choose your weapons. And let's end this here and now. Mm -mm. No. But your way, Kingslayer. You'd win. We're not doing it your way. Come on, pretty man. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Now this little, this, this help, he getting on my nerves. One victory does not make us conquerors. Did we free my father? Did we rescue my sisters from the queen? Did we free the north from those who want us on our knees? This war is far from over. Should I have my son growing up? I know you're not about to eat no raw chicken. I mean, no bird. <laughs> I'm doing it, girl. Hey, where's everyone going? What's happening? They're taking him to the Sept of Belo. Who? The Hand of the King. Oh, Lord. My thing. What good does it do these people? Bilo. What good does it do all these people to slip there and hit at him and all the other stuff? I am Eddard Stark, Lord of Winterfell, and Hand of the King. No, oh Lord Jesus. Come on, me. So I come before you to confess my treason. I betrayed the faith of my king. I swore to protect and defend his children, but before his blood was cold, I plotted to murder his son and seize the throne for myself. What? Uh, mm. Let the High Septon and Baelor the Blessed bear witness to what I say. Joffrey Baratheon is the one true heir to the Iron Throne. By mm. the grace of all the gods. He was an ugly seer. And protector of the realm. As, as we sin, so do we suffer. This man has confessed his crimes in sight of gods and men. The gods are just. They can also be merciful. What is to be done with this traitor? Oh, the wishes me to let Lord Eddard join the Night's Watch. And my lady Sansa has begged mercy for her father. But they have the soft hearts of women. So long as I am your king, treason shall never go unpunished. What? Sir Illin, bring me his head. Oh my god. Stop it! Oh my god. His mama didn't even want him to do that. Oh my god. Don't look! Let me go! Let me go! Shut your mouth! Look at me! Look at me! Oh my god. Oh my God, he did what was asking him, and this. I hope somebody killed that look, that 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 snobbing little. Oh my God. 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 I get up. Oh, what just happened? He said, if your father confesses crime and say I'm the true heir, I'll show him mercy. Did he not say that? So he a lion king. No, oh, Joffrey's a bunch of shit. Oh, God. What's the point of saying all them lies if he just not going to do that? And then his mama was trying to stop him too. Yeah. He just did he just had him say it so nobody would question whether he's the rightful king or not. Well oh. 
Well, any, anybody who can read can go search the book out themselves. Well, well nobody's going to have access to the book. It'll probably destroy it now. Well, they then, have to know, know where it's at, though. And then, you know, the common people, they don't have access to that book and they don't care. But they, they, they up there off with his head and blah, blah, like they did Jesus. You know what? I you. Mm. I cannot believe that, man. I cannot believe that. Yeah, this was a pretty... Uh... Oh, my God. This is... This has some pretty different... Uh... Okay, let's talk about it. <laughs> this been has about... some... This has some pretty... Uh, like Khaleesi. With her. Now she get ready to go into birth. But she, he took her into that tent when they said, Don't bring her into yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, she might as well skate, get the skedaddle on because it looked well. It looked like he was going to. They're going to have to skedaddle because that man was going to have to kill her for allowing that witch to touch their king. Yeah. It had some turn, some turning moments. Uh, so, yeah, when this show came out 10, 11 years ago and they. It was pretty shocking to have the main character killed off in the first season. That's crazy. But it keep, <laughs> keeps you on your toes, lets you know how nobody is on the show. Is so. But I, I'm I'm very uh, proud of uh, uh, Stark Boy, Rob. Uh, Rob. Yes, he captured Jamie. Now, I will mess him up. You know what I'm saying? I will mess him up. Now, y'all yeah, just kill my daddy. They need to go ahead and kill Jane. All right. Thank you guys for joining <clears throat> us on this episode. See you next time. Like, subscribe, and comment. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.